there are over 21,138 orders as of June 18th. I what is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a product that I just found that you can start selling literally right after this video okay it's done well over seven figures in revenue i'm going to prove that to you show you guys how i validated it show you guys how i found it and show you guys how you can actually start selling this right off the bat okay now quick little um, update for you guys i'm starting a new personal rule so that whenever i upload a new youtube video there will at least be one new video in my course for you course members that are already there just to ensure that there's always value being added um into that end um, it's just a cool little little update for you guys. So that being said, as of this video going live, I actually added two more videos. One going over the back end of my Facebook ad account for one of the stores and just showing you guys how I started that up. And then another one just going over some payment gateway stuff. Now, on to the actual video. Let's start the screen share and show you guys how you can start selling this stuff, okay? All right, guys. So we are on AliExpress. I'm tiny again. As you can see, this is a product. Now, right off the bat, you're going to be like, what the hell is this? Uh, well, that's what I asked myself first when I first saw this, but it is a knee pad, brace pad, whatever you kind of want. Not really a knee pad, but it's more of like a, a brace pad, right? And some of you guys may, may be familiar with this, um, if not, but basically what, it, it's basically a compression for your knee, okay? I don't need, I'm not going to try and explain it because I've never used it in my life, but, okay, I want to walk you guys through this. First of all, guys, um, 4.9 star reviews, okay? I'm, I'm going to show you guys first how I kind of validated it and determined that it is a you know, a, a good selling um, product, okay? So first of all, once we find it, I'm gonna show you kind of how I found this product as well um, right, right after this, but, okay, so as you can see, it's selling for $2.98. Now, there are over 21,138 orders as of June 18th, I believe that's the date right now, okay? We'll click that, okay? So it'll bring us to the transaction history, okay? So as you can see, in the last six months alone, okay, just the last six months, six months, there have been over 20,000 716 orders okay now if we look at each individual order you'll see that there's basically a new order like coming in every two or three minutes for this product okay so that means by the time you actually end up watching this video like three or four people would have already bought this product okay so that's again that's just potential revenue for you guys to capture on now a reason why i think this product will do so well also if you guys start you know advertising this is it is multi like it's multi industry okay so it's not tied down to just one industry yes it's the athletic industry okay but as you guys see even in the title okay running cycling fitness uh, martial arts like this can be used for any industry which allows you guys to actually pick one okay go a little bit niche niche whatever you want to call it and dive into one of those markets and start marketing towards those interests okay so again that allows you know it's it's it's, it's diverse okay so one person might be killing it in the cycling industry, right? So now you can like verify that, okay? See that, again, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually see other shops doing this and maybe switch it up to a different industry, okay? So once we've determined that, again, see it even says what, basketball, volleyball, so it's also multi-gender at this point, okay? Now if we scroll down a bit, right? How we actually find more sites doing this, okay? Is we're actually gonna go to one that seems, find a picture, right, that seems fairly generic, right? So okay, so this one, okay? Um, it seems like, you know, a, a website like a beginner shop or beginner dropshipping user would, would use, okay? So we're going to right-click it, okay, in Chrome, search Google for the image, all right? Now it's searching it, and we can see pages that included matching images. So we'll scroll down, right? Um, we'll see this is AliExpress, right? So that's, that's basically the listing, um, or just another supplier selling the same thing. Um, and then right here, so a cycling knee pad, right? So I found on this one, this is a pretty terrible Shopify site. Um, scroll down, powered by Shopify, okay? As you can see, they're selling the product for $7.95, okay? So cycling knee pads. So again, they're targeting cyclists, okay? So people biking. Again, biking in itself is a relatively smart, you know, niche to choose because I believe it's it's basically all throughout the year. There's like mountain biking, uh, dirt bike. There's a bunch of biking that can be going on. Okay, I'm not a biker. I apologize to you guys out there. But Again, this is you know multi industry. So again, this person is selling for seven ninety five. Again, I don't think this is a very good site at all. But it's showing you that okay, someone out here is you know trying trying to sell it. Now, if you go to one of my plugins over here, you'll see it was created February 18, twenty eighteen. This is when the last project was added. Okay, it was last updated on June fifth, twenty eighteen. Okay, so just a few days ago actually. And the fulfillment service is manual. Okay, so what does that again, guys? This product actually. It's called Commerce Inspector. Link is in the description. If you guys want to um, like like get it, basically it just shows you when a site is made by Shopify and kind of breaks it down for you guys. Okay, so 
But yeah, we'll look at this value, man. Okay, so now we've determined that, okay, there's Shopify site, they're selling this product. Let's go, you know, try and find more people selling this product, okay? So we'll go back. Scroll down a bit one. Athletics Depot, see this one's called Mandy Merchants. So you can't really tell. That was martial arts mastery, okay? So this one looks like it's targeting, you know, martial artists, okay? Again, this looks like a Shopify store. We'll go up here to the plugin. It is a Shopify store. Again, they'll tell us, okay, it was last update January 20. So this person hasn't really touched their store in a while, okay? It's been a few months. Their store was created in November. It was updated January. And they're selling their product for $9.99. Okay, guys, I think you can sell this for a lot more than $9.99, okay? The product here costs you, okay? Costs you $3. Now, go here, verify shipping and payment. Oh, Okay, look, it has e-packet, right, which is basically what, what you need if you're trying to drop ship, okay? So 20 days, 147 So $3 plus 147 is, it's just, you know, around under $5, okay, for your cost of product, okay, to actually, like, the actual cost of, to drop ship that product to a client, to a customer, okay? Now, you can sell this for literally anything. It's just the matters of how you brand it, okay, guys? This, is, this goes back to content. This is why I preach content constantly, okay? It's because if you can make this actually look like a quality product okay with its own content with its own images not not doing what these guys are doing right where they're literally just pasting these images in the product description and it looks like crap okay it, it looks like crap okay um if you can actually brand it as kind of your own brand your own products get your own imagery for this okay you could easily be selling this for 25 35 even 40 dollars okay just for these compression knee knee pad thingies okay now again how would you actually go about you know trying to get more converted, get more conversion. One thing that I want to actually tell you guys right now, if you aren't familiar with already, okay, is actually this app right here. I mean, I'm all prepared and stuff in my tabs. Now, if we hear, look, the app called Luke's Reviews, okay? Now, the only reason I use this is for photo reviews. Now, the beautiful thing is you can get this, okay? And then you can actually import reviews from AliExpress that are photos, okay? I never import reviews that aren't using photos, okay? Because there's no point. People can fake them, people can, you know, make fake reviews. So. If they actually have a photo where they see a person who has received the product that likes it, they are much more likely to convert. Now, what does that mean? You download this app to your Shopify store. You can scroll down to feedback here on the AliExpress page, okay? And you click with pictures. See, I've already done this. So, and click with pictures. Now, all these reviews, right? Oh, five-star review, five-star reviews. Now, you can click here. Oh, look, someone's literally wearing it. They're showing it off. Now, what Luke's does, okay? It'll actually import all these reviews onto your product description page. So now, say this was your site, right? You'll have your product images, right? Your custom ones that you guys stuck. If you can do this, so I, I'm telling you guys right now, someone's gonna do this and literally be making 30k months just off these knee pad things. Um, so you do this with custom content. You have your product description, okay? Now underneath, you're gonna see a section for reviews, and it's just gonna show all these, okay? Literally constant reviews of customers, people that have bought the product. And receive them and enjoyed them and have taken pictures of them so that potential customers, right, the people you're marketing to, will actually see that and you'll be able to convert off of that. Okay, so I mean, just off that app, guys, that is just one that you know really, really helps in terms of conversion conversions. All right, um, and that's just that's just a really, really quick you know breakdown for you guys. I just want to show you guys a product that I found. Um, and then, oh, before I forget, how to actually find this product, right? So. What a lot of you guys probably have done, or you may have not known you can do, right, is you can actually, so before you could actually go to AliExpress, right, and type in best sellers. Now, you can't do this anymore because they stopped it, but look, so you can see no information available on this page. You click this, best selling AliExpress, it'll just take you to the AliExpress homepage. Now, what you can do, guys, again, this allows you to get very, very niche specific, which is what I like. I don't like general stores. So, what you do is you scroll to the very bottom, right? It's gonna keep loading stuff. You wanna be able to get down to the footer here. So you're gonna keep scrolling until it just stops adding more products, okay? Now, down here, right, browse by category. You'll click all popular, okay? Now, you see all these different categories of products that you can choose, excuse the voice crack, um, that you can select from, right? So how I found this knee pad, I was scrolling, it was, I mean, it was in, it was in one of these. Um, God knows which one, um, but again, you can click any any of these ones. So literally, you can click bicycling, right? So we see all these masks, here, right? So these are clearly cycling masks, okay? Now you see even this one, three thousand two hundred. I mean, that's not a whole lot of orders, right? But that is, you know, some of the most popular ones in just the pure bicycling category. So again, that kind of already gives you a target audience, all right? Bicyclers, all right, to sell these masks. So again, that's not the only audience you can sell it to, okay? So again, you guys can get creative with that. Do a lot of stuff, but that's basically how you can find it just from AliExpress, right? So this is how you find a decent product 
that has relatively good amount of orders just from this. Again, you can play around with all these different little industries that they have, okay? And then determine which ones you know you can find. So this one, right? It had twenty one thousand orders. Okay, so clearly someone's already selling this. You guys can hop on the band. Right now, I'm saying you know all you guys to do this, but I want you guys to kind of mimic the process and understand how to actually go about finding one of these products. So you yourself can do you know the same um, the same numbers that that some of these people are doing with this product. Okay, now. If you don't, if you if you can't find you know other products, um, just by clicking the all popular section and scrolling through. So guys, if you actually if you guys are having a hard time you know actually finding products um, via just the popular categories, right, and clicking on and finding one that has a lot of orders, um, there's third party programs you can use. There's a bunch out there. I use Dropship Spy. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's literally um, type it in. I just typed it in wrong right there. Dropship dash spy dot com. All right, so there's this one. This is the one that I use, okay? Um, it literally uses AliExpress's API, which you may or may not be familiar with, to actually source, you know, sales data, what's trending, what's up and coming, um, to just give you kind of an idea of what products you could be looking to sell. Now, that's just, you know, showing you the product information. Now, it's your job to actually take that, right? So this program will actually get you to basically finding, you know, the knee pads, right? Then you have to do, you know, the first name searches, all that kind of stuff to verify. You want to see other Shopify sites selling it, Okay. And then you do your own marketing, your own niche targeting, and you go ham on Facebook ads or influencer shoutouts, whatever your strategy is. Okay, guys. So again, that was just revealing, you know, a product that has done a lot of numbers, and one of you guys is going to hop on that and do a lot of numbers as well. So hopefully, you guys can understand the actual process, right? Because it's not just the product itself, right? That's cool and all. That's interesting. It's out there because again, you guys can sell literally anything. You can drop ship anything, guys. Okay. So get creative. Now, it's just the process that I want you guys to understand. Okay, actually finding a product that's currently selling, validating that it's selling, finding other people selling it, and then doing it yourself and doing it better. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Please comment. I respond to everybody's comments, so drop a question. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're doing a video basically every day or every other day. I haven't really decided yet because I got a lot of other projects going on and software stuff, but that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, guys, course link is down below. The drop to buy link is down below. If you're new to Shopify, Link is down below. All the links are down below. Um, my Instagram's down below. Everything's down below. Okay, plug, plug, plug. Um, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, for you course members, there are two new videos down um, or in the course, not down below, but in the course. I see you guys on the inside. I'll see you. I'll see the rest of you guys in the next video. Sorry, guys. It is literally 3:50. I don't even know if it'll focus. Uh, 3.52, okay, this screen's white. It's 3.50 in the morning, guys. I have a flight to Iceland, actually, in five hours. Um, but I want to crank out some content for you guys, so that's what I'm doing. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now, I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back, just blew out. Everything I do, end up in the news now. Yeah, be the cloud with a few now. There's some Hollywood girls and they do chow. I'm drunk, I'm drunk in the mood now.